Chipping Post Office is the longest serving, oldest shop in Britain in continuous use as the longest serving British shop ever. Apparently, it was established by John Brabin, a local cloth merchant, and was given to the locals themselves back in 1683, when Jeannie McIntosh was still only middle-aged. So now you know. We went in search of Lizzie Dean's grave. Lizzie Dean sounds like the titular character from a scaffold song, to be honest. We've mentioned her before somewhere. She was a serving wench at the Sun Inn, who hung herself in the rafters because her boyfriend, having had his wicked way with her, then got married to her best mate instead. Now, her ghost is often seen looking mournfully through the upstairs window in the pub, allegedly after several pints at any rate. Lizzie wanted to be buried just outside the church porch, over the road from the aforementioned Sun Inn, so that her ex and his missus were forced to walk over her grave every Sunday morning. That didn't happen. Instead, her grave can be found next to the gnarled old yew tree at the back of the church. It took us ages to find it, and then, stupidly, we only took photographs instead of film footage. Jeannie McIntosh was drunk, so I'm going to blame her. There's a bit of history inside the church, which itself dates back to 1230, so about dinner time then, with the tower being added in 1450, including some carved capitals on the columns dating back to the 14th century, a 13th century piscina, and a crudely carved font, which Unfortunately, Wikipedia doesn't furnish us with a date for. Outside in the churchyard, of course, there's the usual Grade 2 listed sundial, dating from 1708. They love listing churchyard sundials as Grade 2 around these parts. Chipping itself is old and cute in a Father Brown sort of fashion, but it's busier than a clogged artery nine-tenths of the way to a heart attack. The village is riddled with cobbled back alleys and chocolate box cottages. The luxury Thornton sort of chocolate boxes where kittens are considered too down market to feature on the lids. Most of them dating from the 17th century. They also make cheese in chipping, and if that wasn't exciting enough, chairs. In medieval times there were at least five mills along the River Loud, which runs through the village. They're all gone now. Some woman from the pub asked as if we wanted her to take our photograph outside the everlasting post office. But it's an expensive camera and I can't afford to replace a lens, so I turned the offer down.